Hi, um, today we're going to talk about getting our holiday mode before you look at moving to the Philippines full time. The reason this is important is when you visit the Philippines um, on short term trips, your expenditure is going to be way above what you would normally do if you were actually going to move to another country. Um, especially if you're on a pension or something, you might have saved a bit of money up for a few months, plus have the money that you would normally have for those two weeks. So you've actually got a bit of extra cash in your pocket. Um, the same could be if, like for a work a guy's been working for six months, saved a, up some holiday pay. He's got a lot more money in his pocket than he would normally be spending. Now, why that's important? It's a bit like you um, you go out and you can eat in restaurants every day. Um, you don't have to worry about getting the bus. You can get a taxi every day. Um, you see water skiing and you say, you know what, I'm going to do that today. These things are holiday mode because the reality is if you move to another country and those earnings are nowhere near um, having that on a sustain sustainable level, you're going to have a real shock because things like fast food, for example, aren't healthy and you shouldn't be eating them every day anyway, but they're also um, more expensive. Um, probably per gram in another country um, but you will find that you, A you're not going to be eating out as much B they're not going to be as near and accessible as they used to be but also C because you're actually going to be eating more of a normal diet it's no longer going to be a western normal diet it's going to be a normal diet that involves a lot of rice chicken and other dishes that you may not eat well but what you're going to say is yeah it won't matter it will after a few months when you're tired of seeing white rice in every meal and having gravy and chicken every night it's not a great diet um, there is a lot of fruit there but I, I find myself I struggle to um, be full when eating the fruit it's healthy I admit I should eat more fruit, but the problem is I have no real meal to back it up um, except things like smoothies and things. But the fact remains is they are not, um, the diet is not really a diet that a lot of Westerners will find comfortable to live on. I hear people say, well, I have no problem with it, but it must be one in a thousand um, for everybody. Um, for I know for myself, I enjoy eating out. I like nice restaurants, so for me, it's quite difficult um, to have a basic food. I don't mind. I'll try any food. Uh, trying any food is very different from living on it. Um, but the if you're going to go for Western dishes and Western diet, you're going to find that your food bill is going to be phenomenally higher than you would have been paying back in the West, because most of the things you want are going to be imported goods. But also, even if it's just the basic food, like um, getting beef and things, the quality is not as good. So you're not going to have the same flavor, the same texture, the same taste. But if you want a big steak, it's going to cost you. Um, from some of the nights that I have with my wife, a steak can cost you about $80, $90. Uh, for a very good one. But... You, you. I know some people would say, "Hey, well, back in wherever, it's only like twenty pounds." <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the reality. They don't have it. They're not. They're not. The place isn't full of steers. Um, the same goes for lamb. It's not. I haven't seen a lamb in uh, a live one. I've seen it imported from New Zealand, but I've never seen anybody wandering around with one. If you like goat? You're in luck. Um, chicken. It's a bit bony because uh, there's not a lot of meat on it unless you're going to breed your own. But the fact remains is you need to get out of holiday mode. Because if you go there with the same mindset of uh, I've got $150 for this week and it's the same as you would have in the U.S., you just use your extra money for things relating to the trip but not relating to you personally. What I would mean... What I mean with that is, for example, say you wanted a camera. A camera is something you would personally want, um, but it doesn't personally affect you. You're not going to feel, it doesn't affect your diet, it doesn't affect um, your trip in any way that would be out of the norm. 
what it does mean is you've got something to photograph things with and if you concentrate on spending your money on those sort of things then you can actually try and see how your money fits in with your normal budget with the local diet um, for example try eating the local food try and eat more of that on what you would expect on a daily budget and see what see how you get on with it the same with the transportation system try using buses instead of taxis or what, I, or what other way you would normally travel if you were there full time because these these little little changes are quite drastic in reality sitting in an air conditioned taxi is very different from sitting next to 14 20 people that have just come through um, heavy rainfall where it's now gone all muggy and everybody's like suffering with sweat it's not nice and some people may struggle with this stuff which is why I say try and get out of holiday mode first just do it your next holiday keep more of your money in your pocket and just say well that's my normal weekly budget I'm going to try and live on that now you can adjust it a little bit because you could say well, okay well the average rental is like um, 10,000 pesos so I need to put aside a rent for this week plus the electric plus my internet and put that out and see what you've got left and put that as your food bill and stuff so that you can actually try budgeting in a local currency in the local amount that you would have and the little bits you've got left you can actually spend them um, like I said try not to spend them on something that personally affecting your trip um, you know, eating out is okay but you wouldn't want to eat out every night you might find that um, with your normal budget you eat out once a week well eat out once a week the reason, reason this is important though is it's a mindset change you look at the place very differently um, because I know when I'm on holiday I don't think about money because I, I put excessive money, exce excessive money aside so that I don't have to worry about money because I know it's one of the things that will bug me if I only had a limited budget so I, get, I put excessive money away to make sure I have a good time and I don't have to think about money until I finish and it, this is why these are very different types of life because when you get back from holiday and you get, you were in holiday mode, you think that was a great holiday. I love to live there, go to the beach every day, blah blah blah. But at no point have you actually taken into account the actual cost of everything. But if you do the local way, and you go, okay, yeah, I enjoyed that, but I really don't like riding on the bus. The apartment wasn't as good as I would have wanted. Um, and eating out once a week, I really don't like it there because the daily food isn't what I want that might be the way you go or the other way it could be hey it's so cheap out there I enjoyed enjoyed the company I enjoyed spending time with the the locals uh, the apartment wasn't great but at the end of the day it did everything I want plus it's warm every day um, I can live and these are the two different versions of the same thing depending how you manage your money and how you spend I would always recommend doing one or two of these trips before making the lunge into moving to the Philippines full time.